Hello guys, I am Sean the Bro, and I'm going to show you a quicker video today than most times I do. But, um, that's okay. I wanted to get out there how to make the title screens or the, um, the character select screens. Now, we can work on both. I'm going to focus mainly on character select screens because I haven't checked if there are any videos up, but I, I found a really easy way. It's the same way I do my thumbnails. Uh, so this will also help you with YouTube thumbnails if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for as well. So, uh, again, expect this to be short, but I want to show you guys, because uh, I'm going to try to show you how to complete this game. I have a long, long way to go, so you're not going to see videos for a while once I show you everything, because it's the same programming. But uh, I'll be updating you all the time, and I'm starting a new game as well that ties into it, and I'll get into that later. But, uh, so, okay, so let's start. Basically, you're going to want a template. Now, I use one off of online, and uh, you should always get to the rights if you're going to use a picture. They'll, or if they say, just give credit, then technically it is fair for you to use it as long as you do give them credit. Um, it's literally, with them saying it, it's literally impossible for you to get in trouble for it. As far as I know, I mean, I shouldn't say literally because I'm not 100% positive, but uh, I've never... I've seen, I've talked to people who said just give them credit and they said that people use it all the time. So if you, if you do feel like you, you don't want to create one, like I did at least for now, then one of the best things to do would just be get one that's, uh, you know, copyright free. Just make sure that, just make sure it's copyright free. I know I'm stressed that a lot, but it's very important because if you're going to publish this game anywhere, you don't want to get into any trouble, uh, you know or lawsuits that actually can happen that happened several times to people probably many times I've seen a few either way so enough with that but again just remember that's important next you're gonna wanna get sprites or just an image even if you don't wanna use uh, their sprite you're gonna wanna get an image of each of the characters that you have in here or uh, if you're doing the item select screen if you want to do something like that, you're going to get one of each of the items and, st and uh, things like that. So, first of all, put them in the template. Cut them off however you like. If you have paint, you can do it with paint. If you have PowerPoint, you can do format background and cut some off. Um, yeah, so if you have paint, if you have PowerPoint, hmm, Photoshop, any of those things, uh, they will help you. Just basically get about half of the image unless they're a pretty small character and then put them in and that's pretty easy. And, uh, and then here we go. So this is where it gets a little bit harder. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take each of the characters you have and once you have this blank template save a file. So for example I do it mainly in PowerPoint. I will even show you real quick. So PowerPoint 2010. So uh, let's uh, actually, you know what? I might be able to just open this. Maybe we should just, I wonder if it was too far ago. No, if it's right here, ultimate game menu. Okay, so um, you can, as you see, I have a lot of them here. Ultimate game menu, is this, uh, this is probably my actual menu. Yeah, okay, this is something else I wanna show you. Real quick, let's go in. Let's just go into the Master Chief, for example. Now, this is the one I have. Now, if you look at this, I group them all together. So, if you have PowerPoint, this is probably the easiest way to do it. But you can do it with Paint. I did it with Paint before I had PowerPoint, so it's no worries with that. But I want to show you how I make my things precisely. So, if you have them, you can work with them. So, uh, basically, this is one picture. I made these pictures pictures and I group these things in them if you don't know how to group you just get at least two images and then right here group now they're already grouped um, so I'd have no reason to do that right now I could ungroup them if I want and then I just get a character picture bigger and usually different just because that's the way I like to do it and put him right in there just like that so that's actually pretty simple right but make sure you save this as a template 
because then you don't have to recreate it every time you can save that you can come in here put this guy in here like that that's a little bit too far down but you get the point and then go up here save it take this guy out get another one and save that as another one so that's real easy right so I want to show you that which I've done now and uh, let me load up I cannot find it game menu so let me load up right here exit this out don't save. Here we go. So this is the uh, this is my game <laughs> title so far. Uh, the title screen. There's going to be click to start or press any key to start or something right about here. But uh, this should probably be it. The background's probably going to be a little bit animated with these lines moving, which I actually know how to do. That's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show you this. So I basically tried to make just like an all stars the uh, the characters have valid rivals for example I didn't just throw any pieces together but some of them aren't necessarily the greatest but uh, let's start off so Master Chief Nathan Drake probably the top two I, I would definitely consider them the top two uh, grocers that you could say that right grocers from uh, both of the consoles some people say Call of Duty characters, and there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, Master Chief is probably the most, the top one person in a game that's uh, on Xbox, and then Nathan Drake, I would say, was PS3. Now, Mario and Sonic for uh, just, they're rivals anytime Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games. Now, I have Alien Hominid and the Necromancer from Castle Crashers. They are both from... Uh, the Behemoth, right? The uh, the company, the game company, both different games in that. Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. That should be self-explanatory. Okay, Idol and Rue because they're the only. And yes, it said Rue. Hold on. Before you correct me, it's actually supposed to be Rue. Now, <laughs> I know it's been said by you many times, but apparently it's supposed to be said Rue. I'm not sure if it depends on the location, but understand that I'm not saying it wrong that's what it's actually supposed to be but I'm not sure so uh so let's say Ryu okay just for the benefit of saying it and idol here are both people in actual fighting games um you know being side scroller fighting games street fighter killer instinct uh Castlevania Simon and the demon from doom Castlevania demon Castlevania, Demon, their enemies. So, um, Mega Man, Mr. Game and Watch. Uh, this does have a valid reason. Personally, I was saying it has a valid reason of they're probably the they're the oldest on here, but that aren't being used. Um, kind of like retro, uh, you know, Mr. Game and Watch and. Mega Man, because Mario and Sonic are being used. I said they're the oldest on there. And then you have Altair and Kratos, because both extremely... Um, I don't know what the word I would want to use, but uh, they're basically both assassins, technically. Kratos could be definitely considered an assassin, although he's not a silent one. And uh, basically, they, they're they one-man armies. That's, what I'm, that's the word I want to use, one-man armies. Uh, then you got... <laughs> King Boo and Ditto because they've got no defined shape. Basically, they don't. King Boo can actually Boo can actually change into different forms in some of the games. Uh, if you've played some of the Mario games, you probably have seen it at least a few other times. Um, you got Taboo and Master Hand because they are the bosses to both of the previous Super Smash Bros. games. Uh. Link from The Legend of Zelda and Marcus from Gears of War because I consider them the top second grossing um, characters or games in their console generation. So Legend of Zelda and Marcus. So Gears of War would be second because again Call of Duty I'm not counting since it's a bunch of people. Whereas Gears of War is too. But, um, and Legend of Zelda of course to Mario. And because the two biggest people on here... Tyrant and Bowser. So, 
just a little insight into what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. You can move these guys around all you want. Uh, I was not necessarily that much behind it. See, it's just like you look at these. It's pretty much just me picking different characters. I got a whole bunch of different sprites for them. And, uh, so that's all of them. You've seen them before in other episodes. But, so that's basically it. The reason specifically that I make this, that I'm making this video is because of the fact that, uh, when I went to do this, I couldn't find anything on this. Now, there are videos on how to make thumbnails and everything like that, but I knew how to do that. It was more of, I didn't know if I should create my own or get one. Well, now you can do a mixture of both. There's tons and tons of free, uncopyrighted templates. Some people don't even need you to say they're, you know, give them permission. So, I'm going to get that guy permission in my game anyway and probably make an easter egg to it which I will allude to how to do easter eggs in a little bit later because that's probably my favorite thing of all games making easter eggs for them and uh, don't worry about that that just happens when there's a lot of stress on the computer so I wanted to get that out of the way make that because if people don't know how to make that people don't know how to finish their game yet and uh, so this was a less technical episode showing you what to do in the terms of how to code or how I would do, how I would make the character jump and shoot or something like that. And it was just more of the basics, but also the creativity style of the game. And I think, I don't think you should do all code or all creativity at one time. I don't care what you do, but personally, I think that makes it a little bit more boring. So I like doing this halfway through, and then I went back to coding. So, uh, yeah. I have a request to do something. Um, I saw it this morning in my message box. It was a huge message. Um, I'm going to make that video and give you credit, whoever's asking that for me, next episode. So don't worry about that. And, um... So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope this helped you, and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode, guys.